Assalamu alaikum. Uh, last time uh, we spoke about the evidence or lack of evidence in the Quran about hijab. So as everything else, you uh, scholars or in history books, or uh, they can find it in the Quran, they resort to the hadith books. You know, hadith books are within uh, 150, 200 years after the death of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And there are so many inaccuracies in, in, in counterfeit hadith and attribution uh, recorded based on what the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said or done. And it has proven not to be correct or true, but that's a different uh, subject for a different day that I've done series of YouTube about the uh, books of hadith. But let's stick right now. So we can find the hijab uh, ma uh, being mandated in the verses uh, anywhere in the Quran. So right now, uh, let's go back to the hadith and see what are the hadith uh, are saying about the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So we, the, the, the one, there is basically pretty much one hadith uh, that is kind of, you know, some people say, yeah, it is the evidence. And some people say, no, it's not a good hadith. It's not accurate. Uh, is It was mentioned by one person. Only one person narrated that hadith and attributed that hadith to Aisha. And that person, uh, Khaled uh, ibn uh, Durayt, the one who narrated that hadith based on what he heard from Aisha, uh, the problem is even the same books that narrate this hadith, they say he was he died, he was born after Aisha was dead. So there is no way uh, he could have met her or uh, know her. And there is only, this hadith is not narrated in any books of hadith except for one in the uh, Sunan of Abu Dawood. So this hadith is basically, it talks about the story of uh, when Asma uh, bint Abu Bakr went to visit her sister Aisha. Aisha was the wife of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. She was wearing, you know, uh, some transparent clothes and the Prophet saw her. Saw her. So Aisha says that uh, when the Prophet saw that, he, he said to Asma, if a woman reached puberty, she is not permitted to show except this and this. Meaning when he said this and this, this exactly what the hadith narrates, this and this. And then it says, meaning the face and the hands. So why, why would the Prophet Wasallam not be explicit and say, when, you know, woman reaches uh, puberty, she only can show her face and her hand. Uh, make it very clear, but no, it is very ambiguous. Uh, it is very clear that the Prophet ﷺ did not say that. The person that narrated the hadith did not meet Aisha. And that's it. That is the whole <laughs> books of hadith concerning wearing the hijab. There are there are there are another hadith that talks about if a woman comes to the prayer, she must wear a khimar, cover herself. And it's been debunked. Nobody gives any credence to that hadith. And this hadith uh, is, is, uh, is all the Salafi scholars, they say it is absolutely uh, fake hadith because it allows women to show her face. Salafi wants to cover the face. So they don't recognize this hadith. And they go, they twist other words and other theological interpretation to mean cover the face. It's it's all it's all nonsense. Uh, it's all not found in the books of hadith. It's not found in uh, it's not found in the Quran. So that's, that's the extent of it. <laughs> Imagine all the drama that we go through as, and it, you know, in our society, Muslim women, you know, parents are pressuring their young daughters to wear the hijab. Uh, women that are being going to jail, jail in Iran, in Saudi Arabia, and some other places for now wearing hijab. They abuse the, the, the controversial issue around this thing. It's only one hadith, nothing in the Quran, no, 
word uh, covering the hair. You, see, you mean all these Muslims are wrong and you're right? No, this is not. The, my, I'm doing this YouTube. You have to do things. You have to do your own search on your own. You have to come to the conclusion, you want to wear hijab, wear hijab. But don't say it is mandatory. It is obligation by Allah. Allah did not mandate that, did not say that. It's not in the Quran. It's not the Prophet Sallallahu did not say, say that. Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala in the Quran explained everything. The verses in the Quran clearly, Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala says, وَنَزَّلْنَا عَلَيْكَ الْكِتَابَ تِبْيَانًا لِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ We have revealed this book to you explaining everything why not explaining how to cover how to wear a hijab and there is one verse in the quran that explains the dress code though and that <clears throat> dress code in the quran the verse in the quran says "O children of adam we have bestowed upon you clothing to conceal your private parts and as adornment, but the clothing of righteousness that is best. This is what the Quran says about clothing. I will stop here and I will continue right now about the issue of hijab concerning the Arab culture and any and lots of culture at that time and also modern time political agendas from some Islamic groups that keep pushing for the hijab. Thank you and salam alaikum.